What's going on YouTube? Jeans here bringing you guys more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we are back going on to the casual ladder with a Decidueye team. Let's go, dude. Decidueye is one of my favorite starters in all of Pokemon. Definitely my favorite Alolan starter, so I'm hyped for today's video. If you are as well, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, thank you for everyone who has supported the channel. Goes a long way, my dudes. But on this team, we have Indeedee Choice Spect right here. Not a follow me one. This thing's going to be able to do some work against the opponents. We have a Tailwind Women's Cod over here. Get the Tailwinds rolling. Have the Speed Advantage. Rotom with that will o and that Citrus Berry. Arcanine with that Assault Vest and this Coverage Damage moveset with Wild Charge Flare Blitz. Close Combat and Extreme Speed for first turn priority. Then we got the Mold Breaker Hexers with Choice Band right here. He's going to be able to hit like a truck, go through Mimikyu's disguises and all different abilities. And then in the final spot is the main man, Decidueye right here. Life Orb is going to be able to do some big damage. Has Leaf Blade Spirit Shackle. That is his signature move. He shoots his nice like bow and arrow. He's like, yeah, he shoots his bow and arrow and it traps the Pokemon in the battle. He cannot withdraw or swap it out after he gets hit by a Spirit Shackle. We have Sucker Punch for that first turn priority and Brave Bird over here. Man, I think this thing should have three types. Grass, Ghost, and Bird. Like this thing's, it's a big owl and it's not a flying type. Like, come on, that's crazy. But guys, you want to use this team for yourself. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen. I recommend it. This team is awesome. This is why it's so much fun to play with, especially on the casual ladders. And let me know for question of the day. What is your favorite signature move? Like, the Decidueye is my favorite signature move. Some Pokemon have signature moves. Some Pokemon don't. It's more of the newer Pokemon. But the Decidueye is my favorite with the Spirit Shackle. But let's go, guys. Let's hop into some casual battles here. Let's hop into this casual battles. Can't go on the rank ladder. I, how high am I in the rank ladder? I don't even, can't even show it off right now. But I think I'm like 3,000. We pushed our highest yesterday on stream. If you haven't checked out my streams, head over. Link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. We stream four plus days every single week. Tons of fun. We pushed almost above 1,000. We were like 1,100. We were so close to getting top 1,000. But it was dope. It was tons of fun. Well, let's go. Decidueye team right here. Just look at this sprite. It looks so cool. He's just chilling there. He has like... Looks like he has a giant coat on, and then he pulls out a bow from under him. Oh my lord. Such a sick Pokemon. Love him so much. I ended up picking Incineroar in my Sun and Moon playthrough when I played it. Well, I didn't do a playthrough on the channel. I wasn't doing YouTube at the time. But I ended up picking Incineroar because there was, like, no fire Pokemon. There was no fire Pokemon in the game. I was like, I need a fire Pokemon to have some coverage. But I would have picked the Situa. He's definitely my favorite. Well, let's go. Who are we going up against? We got, ooh, look at this team. The fish. The fish is scary, guys. We all know that for a fact. The fish is scary. Um, he might go Tailwind right off the rip. Did we go Decidueye, Life Orb, and just D-Max? We could go for the D-Max. Or we could start off with Choice Specs and DD. That could do some work. But I'm definitely leading the Whimsicott. I'm going to lead the Decidueye. I'm going to get him rolling right off the bat. He's Life Orb. We're going to Dynamax him. Get rolling from there. And then, who else are we going to go with? I got to watch out for that fish. Fish is definitely scary. I think my boy's coming in here. I think my Rotom. Because Thunder does work on three of his Pokemon. Not Thunder, Electric type moves. So yeah, we'll have Rotom in the back with a Citrus Berry. Then we need one more Pokemon. We can go with the Arcanine. That is Assault Vest. Not bad. Not bad. Or we can go with that Haxorus. Hmm. Hmm. We have a Physical Attacker with Decidueye. And we have a Special Attacker with our Rotom. So it's 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 our choice whether we want to go into the Haxorus. Like, what's it covered more? I think the Haxorus is going to be better. Considering he has that speed. He can hit like a truck with his Dragon moves on the Fish. If he gets a shot off. Because, you know, Fishes are annoying. But I think he's going to lead Braviary, potential fish. And then I'm going to just roll into a Dynamax Decidueye if he does lead the fish. And I'm going to get after him. I'm going to get after him. Get rolling there. I really want to show off Spirit Shackle here too. It's dope. It's dope. I just love the animation. He just pulls out a bow. Like, come on. He should have been in Smash Bros. instead of in Center World. Like, that would be sick. It could be another, like, projectile uh, fighter po Pokemon. Like, kind of like Link. How Link's a projectile slash, like, fighter up close. It could be, like, Decidueye. But look at my dude right here. Decidueye comes out here. Um... I think we can outspeed him. Not even gonna lie. If we go Tailwind, he might go for Follow Me. He might go for Follow Me. I kind of want to swap. Because that Ice is going to do some work. That Ice is going to do some work. I think we're going to swap out the Decidueye right off the bat. That Ice is going to do absolute work on my Decidueye. That is just scary. I don't want him dropping an Icicle Crash and us just losing Decidueye right off the rip. But we can get the Speed Advantage and start going from there. Let's see what this dude does. He might Dynamax. We're going to swap... It's just too risky. It's too risky. Like, I'm trying to show off the boy, and everyone's just trying to counter him. Get out of my face. Rotom pops here. Let's see what happens here. We're going to get our little bit of tailwind up here. I think an Icicle Crash is going to come on the Rotom. Let's see what happens. Ice Punch is coming through. Yeah, see? It would have been all my Decidueye. That would have been rough. That would have been rough news. Air Slash comes over on my Whimsicott, and brings us down to Sash. We are going to have the Speed Advantage here. 
And I'm gonna drop a T-Bolt. I'm gonna double into the Darmanitan. If it if a follow me comes out, then we're still chilling. I'm gonna just go Giga Drain. I'm gonna roll out into a nice little T-Bolt over on you. We should be able to get the kill with a double hit on you. We're gonna be faster. Unless a, like unless a follow me comes out, we're gonna take out the tokens. It's like an either way situation. But what you want. But I want the Darman. That's what I want. That's his big attacker. He's gotta go. He's gotta get out of here. And then once my Wimps Cop falls, we can roll into the Decidueye as to what's called will not be here. But I think my uh, Decidueye should be able to outspeed that Darmanitan in the uh, Tailwind. Let's see. We get that off. And there we go. Bang. Look at all that damage. We got a crit, baby. Ooh, wait. Crit comes up big. We're going to get some health back. The Tokus is going to take out my Whimsicott. And the Rotom's going to take out the Darmanitan. That's huge, though. So my Whimsicott's going to fall out here. We're going to bring the Decidueye back out. Dynamax him and get showing him off. Because of Psychic. Oh, you're going after him. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. We'll survive another turn. Okay. You can have that crit. You can have that crit because we got a crit. But still. Our Citrus Barry does pop. Let's go. I'm going to take out the Toad Kiss here. I'm going to take out the Toad Kiss. We'll say get out of here, Toad Kiss. And he's probably going to Dynamax the next Pokemon you just throw in here. But all I need is like one turn with my decision in the Tailwind because he'll be, he'll be decently fast in that. It's a like Gengar. Ooh, wee. Gengar comes out here. Mm, bum, bum, bum. I could taunt that thing because it could be hypnosis actually mm, Let's see. Let's just go into a uh, I'm gonna double into the tokus just in case we don't take him out But I think we will take him out. Let's just go for it. Let's just go for it I want the tokus out here. He's kind of annoying me, but so he might not be able to go for follow me's later But the Gengar is definitely getting the dynamics. Ooh, he does not. He might be setting up my plot That could be scary. The nasty plot set up There goes the T-Bolt. Let's go take him out. Road time coming up big, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That one's looking pretty easy for us. We're kind of rolling out with him after that nice little swap out. Energy Ball is going to come in here. Potentially take out my Rotom. If he does, then we'll just swap. Yep, there you go. Takes out my Rotom. And now it comes down to, what is it, a 2v2 situation? Or a 2v3? And we're bringing out our Life Orb boy in the Tailwind. Get out my face. Can we just Spirit Shackle him? I kind of want to show off Spirit Shackle before we do roll out. The Spirit Shackle should be able to one-tap him. And then we get Dynamax. Oh, and Kingler comes out here. Oh, my God. Do we even need to Dynamax this boy? Watch this, guys. Ready? Watch this. I mean, we can just Giga Drain. I really don't want a Dynamax. I want to show off Spirit Shackle right here. Watch this. Spirit Shackle, baby. We can roll on into this. We roll on into this. Let's get it. Kingler's going to take me damage from this Giga Drain. And Spirit Shackle's going to come across. Oh, did you see him? Did you see his little feathers? He went like this. He was like, yeah, you just brush this one off. <laughs> Absolute unit. Look at that dude. And he has the little leaves hanging out. It's kind of like a hoodie string. It's pretty dope. Guys, show me it's the Gengar. I would love to one-tap the Gengar. With a spirit shackle. It just built. Like, I know, like, if. Oh my god, it's G Max Kingler! It's Santa Claus! <laughs> I call it Santa Claus. <laughs> oh my lord, look at this thing! Who's he gonna go after? Don't go after my Decidueye, my dude. Giga Drain pops. Oh my lord, we almost took it out in one shot. HP back to full. And does that mean we get our Sash back? Let's see, spirit shackle should pop. Look at this. Get it. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Take him out. Phil. Yes, sir. Decidueye just murked on him. Oh, Curse Body disables it, but it's fine. It's really fine. I don't even care if Decidueye goes out now. We're fine. We got some match one in the bag. I got Charles Spirit Shackle. He's going to go for a Rock Fall. Not on my Decidueye, boy. Leave my Decidueye alone. That's not sad, though. We eat that one up. We eat it up all day. We eat it up all day. I think Tailwind's going to peter out, so we're going to set up the Tailwind and then be able to take out this Kingler with a Leap Leap. That's totally fine by me. That is totally fine by me. Totally fine. We didn't even have to use our Dynamax. He has Santa Claus, though. <laughs> I believe Tailwind petered out. Let me see. Yeah, Tailwind does peter out. It might have petered out last turn. No, I think it was this turn. But we'll set up the Tailwind, and we'll just roll into a nice little Leap Blade here and call it the match. Battle was canceled. Doesn't even want to show off our Leap Blade. Let's go. Let's go, dude. We didn't even Dynamax or Decidueye. I could have. I could have. Like if I was, if that was like a ranked battle, like obviously I would have Dynamax. Got the HP boost to like, guarantee myself eating up shots and all that. But I really just wanted to show off Spirit Shackle, and you guys got solid. That's just a dope move. Then he pulls out the bow, shoots like three right in front of him, and then explodes. And then it's like a charge up shot too. You can see like that Dark Aurora Ball just popping out. But let's see. Let's see. Match number two. He's got the Grimmy Grim. I, I'm gonna set up Tailwind right off the rip again. I might go to Decidueye and Dynamax him. I potentially could. I could see a toe kiss or Aldon. And then that could be a little bit scarier than normal. Um, bum, bum, bum. Definitely want to get this Tailwind. Want to get the Speed Advantage. He has no Trick Room. He doesn't have a Tailwind Pokemon. So I definitely want to get the Speed Advantage going here. 
Uh, I kind of want to bring Haxorus here. Like, Haxorus is definitely coming, but not in the front. Who do I bring in the front? I want to bring the Sijuai, Haxorus, and then one more. But maybe the Sijuai in the front? It really does depend who he goes into. I mean, I could totally Spirit Shackle a Pokemon with him. If you leech Dragapult, we could totally dump on the Dragapult. Hmm. He is a good pick. The Sijuai is going to be doing work here. Let's do it. Let's go to the Sijuai right, in, right off the rip again. And try to Dynamax him early on. And then we'll bring Haxorus and one more. So we're going to need a special attacker here. We're going to need a special attacker. It's either going to be Choice Specs in DD or the Rotom. I think we're going to bring the Choice Specs in DD. That just does more work. Has so much coverage with her moves. Just like a fairy move, a normal move. Like, she's going to be good. She has Psychic. Does she have a fairy move? I know she has a Psychic move. I kind of get them mixed up sometimes. But we are chilling. The Sijuai coming up big. I love the Life Orb on him. I really do. I think he can hit, hit like a truck. But I think Incineroar is obvious. The, or it's obvious that Incineroar is the better starter. Like attacking wise like in rank battle wise like he's just so good he's just he's just so good it's not like just because he's firing that scary it's like his all incineroar's all all around stats are just so much better than the other starters he's just a beast and his moveset like come on incineroar's just too good he's just too good but we still have to show off pre-marina we still have to show off pre-marina that video will be coming soon thank you guys for being patient and i'm glad you guys do enjoy the starter videos all the new starters even though it's just casual battles for right now once they're able to be out on ranked i will get you guys videos of them being used in the rank ladder well, let's go. Um, not a bad start. Not a bad start. Um, I'm just going to set up the Tailwind. He might taunt us. He might taunt us. Um, I'm a Dynamax right off the bat. I could drop their special or just their defense. That could be pretty big. And I'm going to just go after this uh, Togekiss. I mean, this Togekiss could be going for a Airstream, which is kind of scary. Which is kind of scary, but we are sashed. What you want, fool? What you want? You want my situation? Look at that dude's face. Look at that dude's face. <laughs> He's Pokemans. Let's go. What's he gonna do? What are you gonna Oh, he's Dynamaxing. So he's outspeeding me for right now. He's Dynamaxing that Togekiss. Which I, I I think we can eat up an Airstream. Actually, I don't know. It's probably super effective, but that's scary. And it's stab. Ooh. Maybe we should just swapped. I should have known it's attacking him if he's leading it with Grimstarl. Oh, this one's all me, baby. This one's all me. Let's go. We can set up the Tailwind. We should be able to outspeed after the Tailwind gets set up. Unless he fakes out. Unless he's playing the fake out card. It could be terrible. Because if we do outspeed, we eat up a shot, we're chilling. Unless he goes for my Wimscott, that's totally fine. I think he actually might be going for my Wimscott, to be honest. I think he might fake out and then take out my Wimscott. Look at this dude. Flies up there, just slams down. Like I said, he should be three types. He should be Ghost, he should be Flying, and he should be Grass. This dude's sick. He's sick. What's he going to go for? The fake out, obviously. Okay. And he, yeah, he's going to take out my Wimscott. He's going to go for an Airstream into my Whimsy. Whimsy, no! Whimsy, no! <laughs> when this guy goes down here, which is actually totally fine by me. Oh, he gets a crit. This thing's super lucky. That's kind of scary. It's honestly kind of scary. We're going to drop the defense, so we got to go into a physical attacker. Ooh. I don't even want to go into a physical attacker. I do not want to go into my, uh, what's it called? I really don't want to go into my, uh, my Haxorus. We dropped the defense, though. Like, I know my decision I will take out. Ooh, this is scary. This is scary. Like, I want to I want to go into him, but then at the same time, I do not. This isn't Jolly. Attack and speed. It is Jolly. Oh, my lord. Hmm. Oh, my lord. Oh! Oh, my lord. Uh, do we see him outspeeding that? I think he could potentially be faster. It's tough. <laughs> Got Alfred up in here. <laughs> Who do I really want to go into? I kind of want to protect and then roll out. Maybe a choice spec attack to take out. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. What do I want to do? I'm going to save my Haxorus. I really am going to save my Haxorus here. I'm going to save the Haxorus. We're going to roll out into the Indeedee. Indeedee. He probably thinks maybe a follow me is going to pop out here. Hopefully he does go after my Indeedee because I know another shot from my Decidueye will take out the Togekiss. The battlefield got weird. I could just go for a Gleam. Go for a Psychic Stab. Is, ooh, has no effect over there. I'm just gonna go, go for Gleam here. Has so much coverage. We can double into. Hmm. <laughs> we go for that Airstream. Airstream is not stabbed though. Probably won't take out. Um, I could go for Overgrowth. Not very effective. Uh, Max Phantasm. Last call. We gotta drop the defense stats. Let's get it. White Smurf's gonna fake here. Oh, yes. Protected by the Psychic Terrain. Protected by the Terrain. Can we eat this one up? Yes! Let's go. Psychic Terrain pop out was a good call. 
cannot use your fake tears on me. We're gonna be able to take out the Togekiss here and potentially do some work on that uh on that Grimstar. Nice and clean. Yeah. Nice damage. Nice damage, baby. Yes. The Sigui eats up a max airstream. That's that's type nice. That is type nice. That's how you know he's got a little bit of bulkiness to him too. Be able to eat up a max airstream. Takes out the Togekiss. That is huge. His Dynamax is gone. We'll be able to get a turn off on the next Pokemon because we should be faster. He has no speed boost. The only speed boost he has is in the Grimstarl. And I think the Grimstarl is just all like status conditions. Like fake tears, fake out, all that good stuff. He might be rolling foul play. He's probably rolling uh, not foul play. Is it? It's play rough. He's probably rolling play rough. Dragon Pult doesn't get the pop skis. Um, I can totally see a Phantom Force, but he's just going to take me out. He's just going to take me out at that point. I said we just dazzle and gleam. I said we just gleam it. I really do want to swap, but the Sigi, it was nice. It was nice knowing you, my man. We'll pop off into a phantasm here, just in, just in case something happens. Maybe he misses. He's probably just gonna go for a uh, I don't even know, like a Dragon Claw on me. Try to dump on me, Sucker Punch. Dude, Psychic Terrain, what you want, dude? What you want? Psychic Terrain coming up big. This guy doesn't know. He doesn't know. I know I fall for the Psychic Terrain a lot, because there's a lot of things that just don't work. Sucker Punch is one of them. Well, let's go. Dazzling Gleam. Potential double kill here. What should we expect into it? Boom. Big damage. Big damage there. Let's go. Let's get it. Nice little start from us. We go down to a little bit of 2v1. He's probably going to take me out, to be honest. But my Dazzling Gleam is going to be big. My Dazzling Gleam is going to be big. He might be able to take out my Hexers here. Is it 2v1 or is it 2v2? Let's see. It's a 2v2. He's going to send out whom? Rotom Wash. Rotom Wash. Leave me alone. Um, I could eat. No, not EQ it. <laughs> I'm gonna dazzle the game. We are gonna be choice spec, and then we're gonna be choice bandit here. Oh, uh, we need something stab. I'm just gonna go, go, go. I'm gonna go after the Rotom. He's probably gonna take out my uh, Hexus here. One tap. Let's see, Shadow Ball. Oh, Shadow Ball over on my Hexus. Oh, he's gotta be choice. He's gotta be choice. We can eat that. We can eat that. Hexus goes now. Bang! This should be game then. Let's go. Hexus does mean damage. Oh, the berry pops. That's scary. Indeedy, are you faster than that Rotom? Let's see what happens. I need that NDD faster. No, it's not. t bolt pops over on my NDD. On my Hexers. Hexers does not eat, but we will be able to take out the Dragon Pole here and potentially get the double KO with that Rotom. That's huge. That is huge that he's, that he's choice. Let's go. Double kill. Let's go. Let's go. 2-0 with this team. Got to show off Dynamax to Sijuai there. That's what's up. That's what's up. We're probably going to get uh, four matches in this one. Unless we do a very, very long third match. But let's go. Let's get it, guys. Dominating, yeah, dom, dominating, yeah. Let's go, dude. Casual battles, like I said, they're so much fun. They're so much fun. It's like unpredictable stuff. Like we just saw a Santa Claus, a G Max King Lord. That thing is hilarious. Had like the bubbles on his chin, big claw. I was like, I was like, who are you, Dynamax? And it's just like, yeah, big claw boy. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I don't know why everybody doesn't name their G Max King Lord Santa Claus. Like it's just a perfect name for him. Like, come on, what do you mean? <laughs> but battle number three on its way. Let's see if we can go 3 0 right here. Oh my lord! No! <laughs> this is what you get for going into the casual battles. Oh my lord! All legendaries except for Sylveon. <laughs> and these are like the new forms of it. Like that Kelios, that's the form of it. Alright, you guys owe me one zillion dollars. If I beat this team right here, this team's stacked. It is absolutely stacked. We gotta take the speed advantage. <laughs> this is so funny. I'm gonna go to Sidui. Oh, honestly, I'm gonna go to Sidui here. I'm gonna go Haxorus. Um, Rotom? No, not Rotom. I'm thinking Arcanine. I'm thinking Arcanine here. Yeah, let's go Arcanine here. That's another. I mean, we don't have a special attacker. I need a special attacker. Let's take out the Hex and bring the Choice Specs in DD. Let's go from there. Let's go from there. Oh, my Lord. I was not expecting this at all. Dude just drops a bomb on my world. Like, I'm just like, oh, I'm going to use the new starter. He's like, yeah, well, I'm going to use five new legendaries. <laughs> oh, my God. We're probably going to get sauced here. Depends. It depends. And jeans pull it off. Find out in the next episode of Jeans Pokemon. Still <laughs> me on YouTube, like, oh my lord. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is honestly ridiculous. 
I don't think he can Dynamax the Legendary, so he's gonna Dynamax the Sylveon. Is that is that a fact? Is that a fact? Mm-hmm. Phantasm! Phantasm! Alright, I'm dumping on this Mewtwo. Get him out of here. We're Dynamaxing right off the rip. What you want, Sylveon? What you want? <laughs> Either we're faster than his Pokemon, or he's not Dynamaxing. Let's see what happens. I can see a Hyper Voice going in here and trying to trigger the third spray. But my boy, Rowan Big, flapping its big owl wings. And he says, Mewtwo, what you want? We're going to dump on you. We're going to dump on you. I think we can one tap this Mewtwo. What's he want? He's not Dynamax, and we do get off this tailwind. We're gonna go first. I hope we just dump on this Mewtwo. Come to get out of here. Yo, yo, Mewtwo. Mewtwo, go down here, buddy. Oh, yes, sir! Mewtwo, get out of my face! Get out of my face, we'll drop your defense, Sylveon. I'll take you out next turn. I'm not even worried about you, sweetheart. I'm not even worried about you. What are you gonna go for? Hyper Voice, Trigger Throat Spray, Shadow Ball, yo, yo! This lady's problem now. She now she's gonna get it. I think it's life orb. Jeez, man. Jeez. I don't think that was taking us out, even if it was a Dynamax move. Oh, she's gonna get the sauce now. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this thing's dope. It's a Zarora. Zarora. I think it was one of the Pokemon that was uh recently added. But we're gonna go here, and we're gonna drop a. Uh, do I Phantasm again? I think I'm gonna Phantasm. Get that stab going. We can get the grassy terrain out here. We're gonna get the grassy terrain. Potentially take out this Sylveon here. We should be going first. Who's he Dynamax? Is he Dynamax that Sylveon? I think, yep, Sylveon's getting the Dynamax. I don't know why he didn't just Dynamax right off the rip. I think he was maybe thinking I wasn't Dynamaxing. He was just like, I'm gonna throw a Shadow Ball, take that thing out. But we have a potential KO here. Potential KO, minus one on the defensive board. It's just, it's not super effective, but it is stab. And we're gonna get the grassy terrain rolling for all. For all to play with. Let's go. Moon blasting. What you want, fool? Yeah, ye, you wanna bring legendaries? I'll play that game. Mm, this thing's rocking out with a berry. A little bit of citrus action. Citrus berry! That is one of the coolest looking legendaries. The Aurora looks dope. Overgrowth comes out here. Show me the big damage. Show me the big damage. I don't think we're taking him out. Never mind. Decidueye is a beast. A beast. It, it was minus one defense stab, too, with the life orb. Come on, that's some big damage there. And we didn't even get a crit. I don't even think we need it. That was some big damage. And that thing's life orb, so it's probably not really looking for its uh, defense or its HP. So, yeah, we dump on it. So, we're just going to go for a what? A blaze kick to take out my Wimscott. Oh, it doesn't even take him out. What you want, dude? Because it's not stab. It's because it's not stab, my dude. Now, my face. Or your Pokemon are just not EV trained. But we're going to slap on you. You guys are going to owe me a zillion dollars. <laughs> dude brings in all legendaries. Who's going to win? Five of the most strongest legendaries one bird boy <laughs> or one bird boy <gasps> it's the marshmallow dude <laughs> marshadow the moon blast will do some work on this are we gonna see a potential sweep and i can phantasm i'm gonna drop a phantasm over on you and take out the zorora and we're gonna take out marshmallow dude so this might be game this might be sweep one bird boy against the world here moon blast get him oh you baby take him out Oh my lord. Oh, it's Sash. It is Sash. Oh no. Is he going to take out my uh, one of my Pokemon and just ruin my sweep? Phantasm pops. It should be able to take out. <laughs> bye bye, Zorora. Dude, the Sidui beast. Beasting on the casual ladder. Defense drops. If he doesn't take us out here, we got the sweep in the bag. We got the sweep in the bag. Let's see what happens. Poison jab. Ooh. No. <laughs> the sweep. No! Almost had it. Almost had it. But Decision Y. Did Decision Y get all four kills? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Decision Y coming up clutch. Gonna end this one here. Um, I'm gonna get in. Oh, is the, who, are they gonna be faster than my Decision Y? I hope not. I want my Decision Y to get the last kill. Because we'll spirit shackle this thing. We will spirit shackle it up. Alfred. Psychic Surge. I love the name. Alfred. <laughs> That's one of the best parts about going on the casual ladder is just seeing everybody's funny names. Let's go. Hopefully Spirit Shackle does pop here. Actually, I'm going to just swap. I'm going to just swap. Or I'm going to just throw a no effect attack because I want to see Spirit Shackle. And super effective stab. That's big damage. Look at this. Pull out the bow. End him. End him. Try attack. No effect. I know that. I know that, guys. Do I not? Was I just playing dumb? Well, let's go. Yeah, yeet. Look at it, boy. 
Get him! Boom, 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 boom! I love how it shoots it just in front of him and then creates like a circle around him and just bang! Gone! Out of here! Get him out of here! Get him out of here! Get good, kid! <laughs> but there we go, 3 and 0. You guys owe me a zillion dollars. We shook on it in the beginning of the match. We shook on it in the beginning of the match, but we are going to do a fourth and final battle here because those other ones were rather quick. Let's go in off. Hopping off here with this Sijuai. Continue battling. Let me switch my song. We want. Who do I want? I kind of want the. That normal. What is it? The gym leader song? It's like. Ba, na, 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 na. <laughs> Everyone likes that one. I love seeing the memes on it where it's like you're trying to sleep, and but you, you live next to the gym and it's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys saw that. You guys would understand. I feel like I'm just like. You guys probably look at me like, Jesus, no, but nobody saw that. Here we go. We have a real test on our hands. Fourth and final battle. Can we beat a Trick Room King? Can we beat the Trick Room King? I'm, I mean, it can go either way. It can go with the Jelly Set to roll the Trick Room or the Tailwind to get the speed advantage. And for that reason, I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go with this by Whimsicott because I can set up the Tailwind if it goes Tailwind way or I can taunt out. Or I can taunt out from there. Um, the Sidious have to come in here. He has to come in here. Can do some work. I think I'm going to lead this Sidious. Actually, do I? Yeah. The Sidious looks like a great Pokemon. Can do some work against the Snarl. The Drag. I think it can do work against all. It has such a good coverage set. And it's just Ghost and uh, Grass. Mm-hmm. My boy coming up big. And it has Airstream for the Wimscott. So, good all around. Good all around. We're going to need a... Um, what are we going to roll out in here, in here with? He looks very physical. So, I don't think the Arcanine is coming in here. I think the Indeedee. DD as our special attacker. And then do we bring another one? I said we bring the... Oh, we got to pick. We got to pick. We got to pick. I said we bring the Rotom. Rotom with that water. Because I'm mainly worried about that Rhyperior. If it gets Trick Room, I'm mainly worried about the Rhyperior. Everyone knows that's bad. And then the Rotom, if he does not bring the Rhyperior, can do work against the Jelly Scent. If a fish is ran, I don't believe will kill it. I hope not. I hope not, but it probably will, to be honest. But if you are hanging out with me at this fourth battle... Give me a little bit of hashtag fourth battle squad in the comment section down below. I want to see who hangs out with me and who sticks around and watches the full video. But he goes whimsy. He goes whimsy over here. Yo, what you want, my dude? You know we're coming for you. You know we are coming for you. Yeah, yeah. Tailwind. Yes. Tailwind. Yo, what you want, my dude? Max. Phantasm. Ghost stab. We're coming for you. I think we can eat up whatever he has to throw at us. Down to Max Dragon Ball. He's either going to dump on me or I'm either going to dump on him. It's either I eat. I know he's not eating. I know for sure he's not eating a Phantasm. But am I eating a Phantasm? <laughs> I'm actually terrified. He actually might dump on me. Which it would be all good. It'd be, it'd be, it'd be a nice little laugh. Luckily it's not ranked. Like I said, I pushed over a, or close to a thousand. We're like a thousand one hundred. I was almost over that 1,000 mark, dude, and I remember my luck just started dropping, like, missing attacks. The dude, no, this is what happened. He had a super luck Tokus, and he double critted me with the Dazzling Gleam and wiped out my two starting Pokemon. Like, my two lead Pokemon just dumped on him. I was like, boy, what do you mean? Double Tailwind's popping. That's totally fine. That is totally fine. Ah, uh, yeet Tailwind. Tailwind, yeah. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, he's flaring. We actually might eat this up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Flare eats up because it's not, it's not stab. It is not stab. And we can say bye-bye, Dragapult. Dragapult, see you later, my dude. Decidueye coming up big. Let's get it. Flapping its wings. Bye-bye. See ya. Get good, kid. Get good, kid. I wonder if Phantasm is super effective to us. That's my question, because we are part grass, it might only be just like normal effective because of the grass typing in my Decidueye. But, you know, that's just the way the cookie crumbles, my dude. Once you go into a max flare, not stab, my Decidueye will eat that up all day. All day long. Okay, so we have double talent set up. I don't see his Wimscott got taking me out. But here's the scary part. The fishy fish. The fishy fish. I gotta double into this thing, just in case it doesn't die. Just in case it doesn't die. I'm gonna just go for an overgrowth to start getting our HP back a little bit. I mean, he's in a drought. He is in a drought. The fish is right in my- Oh, you. Hunk of junk! Oh! Okay, that was actually smart for me going through that. Taking out my Decidueye. Rest easy, Decidueye. You were a good man. 
You were a good man. Maybe this uh, one Scott can take him out one shot. I mean, he's in the flare. He is in the flare, so I think we're chilling. So like, Fish's rank cannot pop, and he might be choice into that. See how much damage we do to him. Eh, a little, little bit, about half. About half action. We're chilling. We are chilling. Okay, what, what's the plan now? We gotta swap our Pokemon, and my screen went black. My screen went black. My HDMI cord went loose. So right now, I'm looking at my Streamlabs setup, which I'm recording off of. So let me fix my little screen thing. Wiggle my HDMI a little bit. It's bugging out today. There it is. There it is. Okay, we switch our NDD. And now we can get rolling from here. Yeah, my HDMI, it's like, it has good months and then bad days. It's like, it will work perfect for a month. And then it'll just like stop and it just bugs out. It was working good all day in this video. Um, until now, until now. We can go here. I'm gonna just go for a Dazzling Gleam. He's not gonna go for a Fish's Fang. That's not going to take me out. He's gonna withdraw the fish. Lovely. He's gonna go into from here. Jelly, jelly. Jelly, jelly, jelly sand. Moon blasting. Oh, he went with the jelly sand here. Moon blast, can we eat? Nope. Bye, Whimsicott. Ooh. Ooh. Surprise that Ice Fang did come out. That, that's good. That might win him the game. We do a decent amount of damage. Curse body. <gasps> oh, my lord. Now what? That's game. We lost. My DD can't do anything. It's just going to struggle out. Because it's choice spec into the Dazzling Gleam. But we cannot use the Dazzling Gleam anymore. No! <laughs> that is crazy. Let's go for T-Bolt. Eventually take out the Jelly Sand. Look at this. Uh, once I hit fight, communicating. He's going to struggle. Indeed, no! That was actually pretty sick. I don't think he knew we were choice spec. Because that's a that's a tough read to make. Going to the Cursed Body. But, man. Moon Blast. Rotom, no! Alfred has no moves left. He struggles. Nice damage, Alfred. Get it, Alfred. Recall damage. T-Bow could potentially take out. Stab here. Nope, this thing's pretty tanky. Barry's gonna pop from him, probably. Oh, we get the para. We get the para. Show me you can't move. Shadow Ball. Ooh. That's scary. That is scary. Our Barry's gonna pop here. Mm-hmm. Game's not over yet. Game's not over yet. Clutch Rotom. <laughs> Both our tailwind speed are out. He's gonna tailwind now. And I still see us outspeeding that thing. And we're gonna struggle up again. We are gonna struggle again. I wish I would struggle on the jelly scent. There's no way that jelly scent's outspeeding us, even in the tailwind. Let's see. Oh no, he's just going straight for that moon blast. You're not taking us out here unless you get a crit. Hey, we're gonna be able to take out the jelly scent. He's going to drop our special attack, which is rather rough. Alfred, get him! Do him dirty! Good job, Alfred. Alfred's doing him dirty with the with the struggle muggle. Yeah, T-Bolt's gonna take, and I think his fish is just gonna start running us. First body. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not fun. Harsh sunlight does fade. And the fish's rent's gonna start coming out of here. Well, unless he's choice to an ice fang, that could be good for us. I mean, do I have protect? I do not have protect. No! No, 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 no. Jacob Fish, what you want, my dude? We're cursed on that. Vol Switch has to take him out. And Alfred, you gotta come up clutch with the struggles, my dude. Crit. Can you crit on the struggle? That would be hilarious if we crit the one Scott on the struggle. Vicious Ren pops. Eat this up, buddy. Eh, 38. And he gets. Oh, bruh. That was some heaping amount of damage. That probably would have did some work on me, regardless if it was uh, not very effective or not. That was crit it, and that's gonna be game. <gasps> Alfred! At least take out the one Scott here. He's gonna kill himself. Nope. No! <laughs> Dude, if that thing was a cursed body, we probably would have won this game, to be honest. A dazzling game probably would have took them both out there. But GG, we go three and one with this team. Absolutely murked with the Decidueye. It was pretty cool to show them off. My main man, Decidueye, coming up big in three of those matches. Absolutely dominated. I'm not gonna forget that you guys still owe me a zillion dollars for winning that one match, so I will just take checks. You guys just send them to me, and I'll, I'll get them. So thank you guys very much for that money. But Decidueye is probably one of my favorite starters that they added into this game. He was tons of fun to play. I love his coverage, and I love his uh, typing with that grass and ghost. It's just so much coverage with him, and such a different matchup. He can kind of roll into a lot of different things. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget get to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live colton thank you so much once again for sending in this team you guys already know the deal on rental teams if you want me to play your team leave them in the comment section
description down below. Leave me a list of Pokemon. Tell me whether it's doubles or singles. And if you have an EV spread, send that in as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.